Hi! I've been watching so many videos um, of people that had this surgery. Most of it is right before they go. And since I'm just started looking at videos and just went to the seminar, I thought that I might start from the beginning. This way if I do decide to go through with it, then I'll post it and it'll kind of be right from the beginning. So, um, a little bit about me. I work in fashion, so every day, Twiggy, Twiggy Chicks, I just want to curse so bad, um, are running around all the time and basically I feel like crap. So, it became more than a vanity thing, um, when I found out that I was insulin resistant and that it would be harder for me to lose weight because I have tried, I mean, to say that I like biggest loser style, tried working out, got a trainer, was super good, that would probably be a lie. Um, I think I need to just be forced into it. It just feels so overwhelming that I don't, I don't think I really try all that hard. So, um, when my doctor first suggested this, I cried and had to be taken out of the bathroom in the office, but then I looked into it to the sleeve and it seemed like it would not be a bad option for me. So I started looking into it and looking at these videos and seeing how absolutely happy everyone is and how they say it's the best thing they ever did. So um, I basically feel like I'm existing and not living because I don't feel like I'm who I'm supposed to be. I should be skinny. I should be those twigs running around. I should be able to wear the clothes that I'm in this industry for. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to edit this. So sorry if this sucks. Um, so I went to the seminar and <laughs> I got to tell you, a little, it was a little funny. Um, I kind of find humor in everything, so even the crappiest situation, I will find something. So let me just tell you about this. Um, I am in New York, and so I went to one at Lenox Hill Hospital, which is my choice of where, why am I green, of where I would want to have this surgery done. Um, walked into a room, and it was so weird. Um, the seats were really wide, hugely wide, or very accommodating, as my mom nicely put it. Um, the weird thing was, was that in the middle of them talking about how this will change your life and how being healthy and living a healthy lifestyle is the key, do you know that room full of people ate some snacks? I swear to God, I heard like rappers rustling and I'm pretty sure they weren't eating carrots. Why would you go to a weight loss seminar for surgery and bring a snack? I mean, there's ever a time. It's two hours long. Just don't be hungry. Anyway, and they kept just showing. It was very weird. It wasn't anything that you can't figure out or learn online. It was basically more about the insurance, like, BS of it all and how you have to, like, prove that you've been on a medically supervised diet and do all this stuff. It, it seemed like they were like yelling about, what, like not yelling, but like being preachy about why it should be covered under insurance. I mean, it did go over some of the options, the lap brand, the sleeve, and the something DD switch. From what I gathered, it seemed like the lap band is horrible. Um, the sleeve is an option for probably most people, and that s switch thing is for probably a BMI over 50, um, maybe in the high 40s or 50s. Um, my BMI right now is 42, so I'm... 
insurance covers it if you're 40 and over. So even though during this whole thing I'm still trying, I'm going to Weight Watchers, I'm going to meetings, um, I'm trying it on my own so that I, in my head I can say that I did both. Um, but uh, I saw this video online and I wish I knew who it was, the name of it, but um, she had lost 100 pounds in six months. She seemed completely honest about the process, the good, the bad, how she felt. Um, and then the end, she's a photographer and um, her and her husband are both wedding photographers. So she had all these pictures of herself, really nice pictures when she, before she lost the 100 pounds and then after. And I gotta tell you, I felt like crying at the end. It was like watching that video just made up my mind for me. I didn't, I didn't have to think about it anymore. I kind of knew, but I mean, this seems like a huge decision. Who decides? Am I gonna look back and think, oh, I just cut out my stomach. That is ridiculous. But anyway, I mean, it's totally possible, and then I'll feel like such a dumbass. You never know.